Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome to Perception, a horror game that came out on the PC last week and came out on consoles this week, in which you play as a blind chick who keeps having dreams about this strange mansion, and so she decides to go and investigate. But how do we play a game where you are blind, you might be wondering to yourself? Well, this chick has Daredevil's powers. Okay, wait, what? Select mode. I like to get to know my character. Cassie will talk a fair amount. I prefer my character on the quiet side. Cassie will only speak for plot critical lines. Oh, I get it. So this is how much the protagonist will talk to themselves for us. They recommend that we go with chatty Cassie, so I guess we'll do that. It should be all fun and fancy free. Inspired by true events. When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. Creepy Cassie! She's never gonna find out. <laughs> oh, we're playing here. Okay. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie. Sounds are how we see. Listen. Tap your cane. R2. It's a coffee mug. Oh, right. I see. Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. Is that really how it works, though? And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. Oh, this is an airport. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Wow, that cane is really loud. I noticed in the options we can turn the cane's volume down, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Where? Why won't it let me change the cane volume? I guess I'll have to do that before I... before the next one. So sorry about that, folks. Okay, um... Oh, I must have gone where I was supposed to. Wow, I can already tell you, this is gonna be hard. Especially as far as horror games go, like, this is a horror game and... Oh, goodness, are we here already? Great. At least in this part, we can kind of tell where we are by the wind, so we don't have to rely on our cane Hello? so much. Andy, I'm on my way to stay good. Listen, I need to do this. Hang out in the cafe for a few hours. I'll be there soon. <sighs> I'm at the door. We don't hang up. This was a bad idea, I bet you anything. This place is going to be haunted as fuck. That, or maybe it's a normal house, but her imagination and her being blind, the noises that she hears will allow her imagination to run wild. I'm just checking everywhere, making sure I don't miss anything. The developers did say that this was more of a psychological horror. Oh, maybe we are supposed to come in this way. The developers said this was more of a psychological horror and not so much reliant on gore and jump scares. Yep, nope, that door's locked. Okay, so we gotta go back, I take it. Okay, so there's a crouch option. Okay, and we can see, we can see our current, okay. All right, so I must have to go in through this door. Hey, who's whispering at me? I don't much appreciate that. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Alright, I guess we'll let ourselves in then. Don't mind if we do. This turned out fine in for Belle Hello? and Beauty and the Beast, so surely we'll be okay, right? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. Yeah, that probably would have been smart, huh? 
Oh, shit, that was loud. Okay. Chapter one, the rope. Yeah, yeah, I know how to, I know how to- Moving out? I... Or moving in? Nobody's supposed to be here. You know, I'm pretty sure this is not how it actually works for blind people, though. You don't tap your cane and you suddenly get daredevil sight. Anyways, what was I gonna say? I don't know if I said this already or not, but the developers said this was more psychological horror rather than reliant on jump scares and gore. It's not... They said there might be a couple of jump scares, but it's they're not, like, super heavy on it. It's more about the creepiness. Ugh. This place feels too quiet. It's, like, unnerving. Ah! What the fuck? Oh, the fuck? Shit. Oh, Okay. Deep breaths, Cassie. Okay. You're here for a reason. All right, somebody close that door behind In us. Dreams. I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there. All I see here is pizza. <laughs> ah! Ah! Shit. Fucking fuck. <sighs> hate, hate, hate fire. What happened to the? There aren't any jump scares in this one. Full of lies, you developers are. Fucking lies, I tells ya. Am I supposed to do something with this fire? Stop that whispering! I will smack the fuck out you with my cane! I swear for to God! Why can't I open this goddamn door, huh? Okay, so what do I do here? Why is the fire green? Or why is the fireplace green? I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, here we go. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. All right, so there's a mystery of some kind to be solved. What was that? A memory? Oh! What? Oh! Oh, that's bad, right? Something opened the door. I mean, that's a good way to give away my location, but... Is the fact that the door is open now mean I'm supposed to go in there? Because I really don't want to. There's something here. What is this? Play. Felicia's pregnancy suits her. She glows. She walks around holding her tummy. Sometimes she just smiles for no reason. <laughs> I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. It appears cravings aren't just a wives' tale. Okay. Cool. Now what? Man, I wish there was a goddamn sprint button. But, in hindsight, it might be better that there isn't one. So, what is this, like a scavenger hunt? A horrifying scavenger hunt? I gotta find all the things to advance? Ugh, stop that. So wait, is this a new set of doors? No, this is the first set I came in. And there's nothing new here. Yet, I can't shake the feeling of unease from this place. Oh, here we 
we go. Some stairs to go up. Landmarks and memories appear in green. Okay. So the stairs are a landmark. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, boy. Oh, it saved. Is that good or bad? Ah! What was that? Okay. I need to get here. Hello? What? I heard a noise. <laughs> ah! Oh, did you? Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. Don't you be fucking with me. Oh. Hello? Okay. Okay. So this is like layers of fear, but if you were blind. Oh, what the fuck? What in the holy shit and shit and fucking fucking shit fuck what? Oh, was I- am I supposed to do a thing here, or what? Now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. St. Joseph's Orphanage. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay. Okay. So... Fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. <sighs> I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. Okay. What brought that back? So... Cassie grew up in an orphanage? And the... Uh... Orphanage owner was not very nice or something? There it is, the rope! Okay, I'm getting the rope. Ah! God damn it! I don't understand. This is the rope. The same damn rope from my dreams. What the hell does it mean? Damn. Guess I still have some digging around to do. Fuck! I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What? directly into the dark because scary but also I don't want to use my cane because attraction oh good it's saved you know what I'm gonna and it's been I've been recording about mm, 15 minutes so I'm gonna use that as a good excuse to stop right here and if you're wondering if I'm scared yes <laughs> so that's that's part of the reason oh my god wow this game is terrifying it's a little bit more scary than I thought it would be considering that you're blind and like I don't know it's just I mean Obviously, I'm not blind. You're not blind, but the but the character being blind and the limited amount of vision that it gives us in the first place is just oh man, just the fact that I can't see what's there. And one of the biggest things that has, that always fucks with me in horror is the unknown, the shit that you can't see, like not knowing what's there. And it's like this. So this game is gonna be heart attack on a bun for me. God damn. Oh, but I'm liking it so far, for that exact reason. Because it is so scary, you know. That is, uh, that is the reason. It's a very unique game mechanic. I, I think this is, uh, pretty cool. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing or where I'm supposed to be going. I just keep following the, where the game seems to be leading me. So, 
Uh, or rather, where, what I'm assuming there's a ghost in this house that seems to be leading me, but we'll find out. Anyways. <clears throat> That'll be it for this episode. Let me think what, uh, let me know what you think of it so far in the comments down below. And we will continue with the next episode on Wednesday. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.